motherfucking brothers and our sisters suffering. That's the business. Helping brothers, sisters going to school. That's the vision. Helping brothers, sisters staying out of a prison. Nigga, that's the business. Nigga, that's the vision. What the fuck wrong with you? Don't tell me no shit like that, man. Think somebody gonna come find that shit out? I've been seeing you get to it, though. So what's going on? What brought you all the way over here? I'm trying to figure out like why he go by himself and then like why Chrissy ain't go with him like she always go with him. Right. Then it's like this bitch trying to act like she all hurt and she, she ain't trying to talk to nobody and shit bro like. They said she walked right out that motherfucker bro. All the sisters, my little brothers, all I got up in these streets game. The nigga I put her in rehab, she ain't want no motherfucker help nigga. She walked out that motherfucker. I'm not here going, I gotta go up in these streets. Keep a roof all through our head. You hit like your bitch ass daddy. Hey, love, bro. How you doing, man? Doing all right. It's up here eating and stuff. Okay, hey, you know, gotta go get your nutrition in at the end of the day. You feel me? Right, right, right. Hey, that's the business, man. Definitely a pleasure having you on the platform. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you don't mind, go ahead and uh, introduce yourself, brother. Uh, okay. I'm Law from Law Films. Um, I run a um, film production company um, from Inglewood, Southside. You know? Just out here working on a couple of films. Do a lot of music videos, but I've been focusing back on like movie stuff or rebranded myself. So I got some stuff coming. That's real. That's what it do. So uh for uh, the people who don't know, you know what I'm saying? Uh go ahead and tell people how you got started in the uh the videography uh lane that you in. Uh I actually got started. It was um I was into photography first and um and on um, graphic design, so I went to this school in um in downtown Chicago. Um, I had to take up a video class as one of my prerequisites, and it just it was just right. It just failed. It, I took what I knew for photography and, and mixed it in with the video, and then I was able to produce some good stuff. So continue from there. That's real. So I mean, when did you realize that you had uh, a talent? You know, to to you know to really do it. When did you really know that you had a gift? Uh, we had this project we had to do it. Uh, I was at Kidney King. We had to put together uh, a healthy eating um, promotion, and um, I had I was in charge of like putting together like a commercial. I never did it before, so I just bought an editing program and taught myself, and I um, premiered it at school. And some of the upper uh, management people love how it was put together, and I had no training and stuff in it. And I just, at that time, realized I might get it. Okay. That, that was so. So what was your, uh, the first major project that you put out, you know, other than school? You know, like, what was the project, the independent project that you put out, you know, like your first one? Uh, a filming? My independent project I worked on, it was like a, a comedy. It's called the um, Inglewood Bounty Hunters. It was just something mm. that was just randomly like comedy that it kind of like taught me to how to put together a large amount of footage, which is hard. So from there, it's just been building different projects. So it's like kind of like a skit comedy thing. So that's what I first started off with. Mm. So I mean, uh, what do you normally find the uh, people who are in your skits? Because I've seen so many skits that you have and, and things of that nature. What do you find the actors? Are they your friends? Are they people 
you know, who who seen your work, who want to participate? Like, how does that work? Uh, actually, it's just from knowing a lot of different people. A lot of people reach out for me from Facebook, Instagram. I get emails. I get a lot of people. They pour in to me, and then it's just I extend like you know the hand and bring them in because you know I'm looking for help. They looking to get into stuff, so it's like I get hit from everywhere. And then it's mostly mostly I would say it's close friends that know friends, and we all put it together like that. That definitely real. You know, so what did you uh, come up with the concept of Eaglewood Bounty Hunters? Like, was that something somebody gave to you or that's something you just, you know, thought about one day? You're like, man, I'm going to put something together called Eaglewood Bounty Hunters. Um, it came to me at work. I was, uh, damn. I was at work. I was I was a security guard at first, so it was just like seeing all types of random people, and then by me being a security guard, what I had to do, then being in the, being in the hood, looking at the different people that's in the neighborhood, and I was like, hmm, I just just started writing, putting it together, and then you know I hooked up with um, the guy I met, and he added to it, and then we just came together with it. That's real. That's definitely real. So, what's the reception? of the hood you know you're from the hood you know i take my hat off to you because you're from the hood you know you're doing positive things you know uh you took your craft and your talents and you make it something out of something you know i said i take my hat off to you so what's the reception from the hood like how do brothers and sisters reset you know your videos and everything you're doing oh the the, the hood been real good to me they um like we had came up the series the wood which you know i wish i could have finished it but it was a lot of stuff that went on maybe right. later on i could probably rebrand it and come with it at a different angle because that that doing the wood that brought a lot a lot of different people from the hood in my way like i can go places and they be like hey you was in the wood when it, when the next episode and what happened to Peanut and Pork Chop and that thing, but you know the wood really they really loved it. They was like it was like a like a, a sitcom for the hood, and you know they waiting on it to come back. They really they really liked it. I wish you know now that I'm now that I'm involved and rebranded myself. If I came back out with it again, it definitely would be like some next level stuff. Mm, that's real. So uh, when it goes down to or it comes to rebranding yourself, what's the whole reason of rebranding yourself? You know, don't you already have a, a established brand that's, you know, that's uh, progressing and everything? Why why rebrand yourself? I feel like um, I'm older now and, and um, I look at it, I, I, I look at things a lot different. Like I look at more... Um, different genres you know it just ain't all about like i gotta concentrate on the drug dealer maybe i could come with something different else in the neighbor in the um the hood like mental health mental health you know like stuff to mm. to put into the show to, to bring more eyes instead of just all about like uh the drug dealer kicking in the door or the policeman robbing somebody like is that i'm trying to rebrand with that and also um I, I redid all my equipment, so like I upgraded, so I got a different look right now. So I'm going more cinema look, and um, just just trying to come more. Like I was professional, but I feel like now I'm, you know, I'm up another level. Yeah, that's right. You didn't elevate it to another level. You just want to set a uh, set a, a certain bar for yourself. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, and what you put out there, you know, right? Uh, hey, yeah. That, that's elevation, you know, everything, you know, elevates, everything goes through the process, you know, so that's what exactly. it is at the end of the day, you know, so uh, who is the main people that back you up, Who's, who are your supporters, you know, who is the one who said, you know, when law was down and law, you know, was like, man, you know, I might uh, give up or, you know, you just had an inkling of just, you know, hey, man, this is real tough, I don't know if I'm going to make it, I don't know if I'm going to do it, who is the people who've been backing you up since the start? Uh, I, I say my family definitely. Um, a lot of the a lot of the people that's in my shows, um, they they've been big help. They they kept they kept me going. You know, like if I couldn't find a location, 
day of Friday or like it's a lot of a lot, most of the whole cast of the wood and, and bounty hunters and you know some of the writers up they was like my big favorite so many people to name like I, I, right. I, I don't want to just miss names and they'll be that's killing right. me and well like like actors a lot of the people that's that's in the wood and the um, bounty hunters they all doing a lot of big things they on like amazon all type of things so mm. those people those people are tip my hat to them they would keep me going that definitely real that's what's up so what do you have uh for the future you know uh coming up you know some some things some projects that the people can expect coming from law films um i got i got a, i got a lot in in, in the other uh, right now like i'm um i'm actually in, in pre-production with um another writer hey, well, she's getting into video too we're working on um it's about like witchcraft from a, the black witch side so we're showing like the the different angles with that then i have like um a two chapter episode about um the female side and the male side of a relationship to cause and effect like when a guy want to do good the girl try attitude change and be sucky and then when she want to do good then the guy it's like a cause effect so i'm working on i got that and also just um a couple of like short skits and stuff so, that's what you know, it is. That yeah. Up, you know, so uh, like, what's your process of coming up with different, uh, you know, um, pieces? Like, far as you know, your skits and what is like, what is your process? Is it something like, do you write a piece here or a piece there? You know, do you, you know, uh, think about things in the morning time and things hit you, or is it more when you like you say you at work? You coming with different ideas? Like, where is these? Uh, thoughts coming from, or where's the you know uh, the pivotal oh, moment? Where do you start uh, in a young man? You know, like that. Man, like that process, it comes to me all over, man. It's like I take, like sitting around. A lot of people talk to me, so it's like I sit around, I listen to that thing, and I just always just constantly coming up with stuff and listen to people talk, real life stuff, and I just take it and reinvent it. And I always carry like a notebook around with me now. So I, even when I go to work, I could be just be writing. Like I learned like from working, like instead of like cussing somebody out, I just write them into a character and throw them down the stairways or something. You know, like it's like okay. I, it's like I just I use everyday situations as a way to come up with things. And I just write it down, write it in a certain way, then I come back to it. I got mm. like I got like six, seven books just full of random different like thoughts. skits and, and yeah. thoughts and ideas it's just like now i'm just trying to put them all together and come up with something mm. so what do you like doing more the music videos or the skits uh i enjoy doing the videos but like i was saying with involving i like putting together a bigger production now it's 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 more fun to me. Like music videos, it'll just be a lot going on. A lot of times, people they're not on point, and it'll just be it be more of a headache <laughs> than anything. But when the finished product, if you know, I like if it's a good song, it's easier to edit. That's and right. Even though, right, even though it's a bad song, I'll be a professional and get it done. Get it done. But like, if you can hear a song that's good, I feel like it give you a little bit more push to like that's get through. That's definitely real. So yeah, I mean, so. like, what is some of the uh, experiences you know you didn't had as a uh, a photographer, a big videographer, I should say. You know, making videos. You know, you're from the south side of Chicago. You know, so uh, what's some of the experiences you know that you didn't had? You know, being uh, a, a a brother like that or that caliber. Well, I, um, I experienced a lot of different things. Why like, um, I just. Uh, while the pandemic was going on, I had worked on three different um, episodes of Narco Wars. It's on uh, National Geographic, so I had mm. an opportunity, had an opportunity to do some DP work on that. So that's out there now. So that was that was kind of dope seeing that on TV. Uh, I worked on a Budweiser commercial. I had did some with Discovery Channel. Um, mm. I did so much different stuff. Um, wow. I did commercials. I've been involved in a lot of different things. Like, it's just not me just being like the director or like me 
Some of the stuff I I have edited a lot of people's stuff. They have sent it to me too. So that's why I've already been doing. Why I've been kind of quiet. I've been just behind scenes editing people's short films, commercials, and all that stuff too. So it's different lines. That's real. So that's right. That's hey. That what's up. You know, I take my hat off to you for that. So what is the uh, end goal for law? Law films. What do you want out of all of this? You know, at the end of everything, when you're done, what? What's the legacy that you want to leave? What What's the end goal for you? What do you want to achieve? The end goal? Uh, mm -hmm. I do want to leave something behind for my kids. Hopefully they'll take over, you know, take it to a whole other level, you know. If not, you know, you never know, you know. But the other end goal is um, I just like to entertain people. I just like sometimes people want to come home and they just want to be able to watch something and just relax. So it's just if I can make people forget about something for an hour or two a day. That's 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 excites me. Mm. That's real. And that's real right there at the end of the day. You know, so do you uh offer your services to like the youth when it comes down to like showing the brothers in the hood because you're from the hood, you know, so do you offer your services uh or your skills or your craft to show other young brothers you know, how to do uh, what you do so they can have an opportunity to get out of the uh, living situation that they in. Yeah, like, I'm I'm open to it. It's, I helped a lot of people that that was, that need to help learning things. I extended myself all the time. So, mm. I, I, I you know, I thought about, like, maybe if I could in the summer, if I had time, like, to offer, get in, like, in the summer school or something, offer a program to help. By the end of the program, they all can just come together and make their own little short film or something. Like that's something I thought about before. Okay, definitely, definitely. Well, I definitely extend my hand out to you, and I do have some uh, little brothers who would love to uh, take you up on that offer and who would uh, participate in something like that. You know, who just need somebody just to show them uh, something uh, that could change their life, man. And what you're doing is something that uh, could change brothers and sisters' lives. You know, uh, like I told you earlier in the conversation, a lot of people always focus on a person oh, who's in front of the camera, but it's a, actually about, you know, the individual who's back behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? So if you right. can give brothers and sisters the uh, opportunity just to change their life, that's the business right there at the end of the day. I take my head off too. So is there anything that you want to uh, tell the audience, man, because this is an exclusive interview, like you don't uh, – this interview with anybody, man. I'm talking about. I, you know, I know. I take this as an honor to have you on here. You know, like I told you, I've been following following your work for a very long time. You know, I also been in some of your work before, and you know, I take my hat off to you. So I would uh, like for you to get these brothers and sisters, you know, something uh, from you yourself to them, so they can understand. You know, at the end of the day, when they uh, go to your channel and look at your videos and when they see law films pop up you know get these brothers and sisters something that a substance that they can say the reason they go on to your channel the reason to promote you the reason to buy your your films the reason to hit that like and subscribe button on your channel and things of that nature you know before we close this uh interview out uh i would say like um what i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring a lot of different things. It's just not going. It's just not going to put me in one box. So, I'm gonna bring the love story. I'm gonna bring the drama. I'm gonna bring the suspense. I'm working. I'm gonna bring the horror. I'm gonna bring you know awareness and stuff. That's just watch. Just continue to watch my growth. You see, if you watch from the beginning of my videos to see where I'm at right now, it's just it's a whole other level that's coming. And it's just just get ready for the shock the world. So, just that's real. That's be real. ready for it. So. Whatever I can, you know, when I can reach back, I'm going to reach back, you know. Like, I don't got no problem with, like, bringing people on. They want to learn to shoot stuff, too. It's just they come and they serious and they want to learn. Let's do it. That's right. That's real. Each one teach one. That's exactly. how you got to reach. Yeah, exactly. I, exactly. I learned from a lot of people. I ask questions. That, you know, they told me some things along the way, you know, from doing all the raps. That's real. Work with the rap videos and the drill stuff. His first really track that started getting going. Did a lot of that stuff, mm -hmm. so it's just been around for a while. So that's real. So uh, before we conclude this interview, who is the uh, number one person or, or some of the people who did you know uh, help you in your craft? 
You know, the people I'm talking about, the people who do the same thing you do, who who say, hey, you know, law, this is the way you edit this, or this is the way you slow the time down on this, or this is how you blend this together to make this go like this. Who was those individuals? Uh, I learned a lot of stuff from being in college. They gave me a base. But, like, mm. getting out here and learning some different, like, Corrado cuts, I kind of taught myself. But also, like, I worked with um, with Fly Tide when they first, you know, the first girl. I learned mm. some stuff from him. Okay. Uh, I learned a lot of different things from a lot of the, the, the videographers in the city. You know, like, I asked questions. I watched some things and gave me ideas. So, man, I could say I learned a lot from all of them, you know. That's right. That's real. That's definitely yeah. real. You know, right. Okay. Day day. Yeah. You learn from yeah. everybody. You can, you know, like now to the point now I can watch one of their videos. I'm like, oh, they did that type of cut. Oh, I never tried that. Let me try that, and I'll figure it out. You know, like, mm -hmm. you know, I don't bite their style or nothing. I call it my own, but you know, but that's right. I learned from all. I, I learned from all of them, but you know, I learned that's identity. Real, then you know, I got, I got another camera guy here in um, Atlanta. His name is Sean it's Sean right, Peak. So. We be working on stuff, so we got to chop up with them. We're going to do a lot of good things that way, too. So, yeah, I'll probably look out for him, too. We doing a lot of things out there in Atlanta. Yeah, definitely. That's the business. And I definitely want you to link me up with that artist that you got on your channel, the uh, Sade. The Sade, um, is the, I'd say something Sade. It's oh, uh, uh, talk about with the, uh, gosh, she going to kill me for Ganja. It's the ganja. Ganja, ganja. ganja. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that got goes a, so hard. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. Me and her got a lot of stuff cooked up. She's actually I'm sure her had to work the camera, so she's actually being you know, on my mm. team with the camera work. She's she was writing on that on the Black Witch um show too. So definitely she gonna be a record to reckon with soon. So definitely. She definitely got skills and talent, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and a miraculous voice and it's original. You know, the way yeah. her sound and her sound is original. Uh, you know, I ain't really heard nobody with that type of sound and that vibe. She got a positive vibe to herself. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's another thing with being who you are. You know, you uh, discover talent as well. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely the business, bro. You know, so oh, definitely, you yeah. put me in contact with me. With me oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Interview. Definitely. Yes, when sir. you see this new stuff we we working on, you're going to – yeah, we – Definitely, we, yeah. can do, we can do some heat. Y'all yeah, better turn up. That's the business, man. So, you yeah. know, I appreciate you on the uh, platform, bro. Any way that we can AA you, bro, on the platform by getting coming back on the platform and uh, promoting some of your videos or anything that you got going on, you're more than welcome to come back to Block Us Santana TV. You know what I'm saying? Anything you want to say before we conclude the uh, interview? Uh, I would just say, y'all stay tuned. This is a lot of. It's a lot of great things coming, you know. I'm going to be entertaining y'all real soon. I know I've been quiet lately, but I've been behind the scenes working, so it's time for me to get back out here. So I can't wait. So yeah. that's real. Just, just stay tuned. Like, hey, like when I'm when we when we set up on the sets, like maybe sometime you can come on. Um, could do you can do some behind the scenes stuff. Oh, yeah. Definitely, could definitely. Do something. definitely. Definitely going to pull up. You know, I'm in the A. You know what I'm saying? I'm down here in Georgia. You know what I'm nice. saying? But I definitely, yeah. But I just left the land, just left the city. So there's no problem with me uh, coming back up there, you know what I'm saying, and rocking out with you at the end of the day. And you know what I'm saying? We uh, networking, bro. You feel yeah, me? I got a problem with the A because I actually got a, like I was saying, I got some people down there. We doing some um, doing some work down there too. So working on this, um, working on this, this is, uh, this is t it's a show. It's about like a uh, my artist with the you know I got the trail the trailer and stuff I can send to you. Oh uh, yeah, do that. And so that's that's definitely in the work and stuff too. So definitely mm -hmm. got some people down there in Atlanta. I gotta actually come down there. So you already know, come down here, rock out with the A man. It's all love down here. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, bro. You know, and, uh, everybody, you want to see this interview is going to be on Flaco Santana. Uh, TV on YouTube, Flaco Santana 2. Uh, that's the second channel, Flaco Santana. It's the regular channel, the second channel, Flaco Santana 2. Y'all go subscribe, hit that like button, 
Rock out with Law Films. Y'all support this brother. He doing some positive things from the south side of Chicago, from Inglewood. And this is definitely a, a brother that you want to stay tapped in with at the end of the day and support. Love, bro. Love, my love. I'll see you soon. Yes, sir. All right. yes, sir.